Honey, you know I can't hear you when the water's running. Uh, or haven't I earned the right to ask for this? The public knows me as a serious player, right? Not someone just out for kicks and shots. And if I think that this is important for my playwriting, for all playwrights, how about it? Are we going to let all the daring things be done in the wrong name just because we are scared? Jack, you've got to find play here. <coughs> it's got that rare combination. The public will love it. The intellectuals won't find it too contentious. Why should we in the theatre be so far behind the times? Have you read a book recently? What they put in books or seen a movie? Look, it's hard enough putting up a serious play in this day and age. You know what the public said? I've got enough troubles in my life. Why come to the theatre to see them? Now you have them say, I see my ridiculous, pathetic husband walking around naked all the time. Why come to the theatre to see another ridiculous man walking naked whom I don't even know? I want to say to that man, that plain, ordinary man sitting in the audience, I want to say to him, Hello, we haven't forgotten you. <laughs> and he called back and said, Hello, I wish the hell you would. <laughs> Hello, you are sick and tired of seeing bizarre way of problems of men who aren't even men and women who aren't women. Here you are. Jack, this is your life. Right down to your bare ass and your pathetic. Oh, you don't want to do this play. Fine, I think someone else. Take it easy. Have you, have you thought of the problem of casting? Of auditioning for this part if Hank were not to do it? I mean, actors are used to being turned down because they're too short, too tall, too fat, too thin. What to be turned down because the equipment is not ridiculous no, enough? Yeah, no, no, she won't even qualify his right name. All this euphemisms, equipment, thing. Huh. What would you like me to call it, Jack? The technical word. The correct word. It's penis. If, if you go around calling it that, there's no wonder why you think of it as ridiculous. It's, it's a ridiculous and belittling name. Look, you call it what you want to call it and I'll call it what I want to call it. But uh, I've got to tell you something. I call it what I did partly because of you. What do you mean? Jack, all the years I've known you, I've always found myself apologizing for using a dirty word in front of you. Hey, come on now. It's true, Jack. I mean, haven't you noticed? Around you, I'm always saying sorry or excuse me. And that's another reason why I think you're wrong to do this. The public doesn't see you as that kind of player. I'm sorry I have been inhibiting you for all these years, sir. You know, that's one of the most insulting things anyone has ever said to me. <coughs> I can't help you. It's true. Just something about you. Would you care to explain that? Dorothy? Yes, Mr. Miller. Will you step in a minute, please? Say, you met her, didn't you? Yeah, when I was coming in. She's a Bennington girl doing her three months stint at learning what we are like. Ah, Dorothy. Meet Mr. Barnstead. She's a great fan of yours. She even acted in one of your plays at college. Oh, Mr. Miller, really? Which one? Oh, I was terrible. Yeah, but uh, which part? Do you or don't you? Mr. Miller! What an incompetent! 
witness. She's never seen a naked man before. Mr. Miller! <laughs> <laughs> then you have. <laughs> Let them see it on 